Hello everybody, my name is Just Reaper, and welcome back to the Minecraft Cold War Tank Tutorial. And today we are doing the British FB 4005 Stage 2. This was kind of an experimental vehicle-ish. It was mounted on a Centurion hull. I forgot which model Centurion. Um, now I did make one of these in the past, but it was requested that I make a better version of it. And here is the better version. I hope it's better than the original. This one actually has partly an interior in the uh, in the turret, just a little bit if I remember correctly. Just so I don't feel like a, a complete idiot, I'll just go check. Yes, there is a little bit of an interior in here, but this is like kind of the only bit of interior that there is for the tank itself. But, um, you know, it, I, I think it turned out well. I like this look. It's better than the original, if I remember correctly. I wasn't very fond of the original one as it was. As it was. So, uh, yeah, that's the tank itself, and here's some uh, info, very little info. Sergeant was in Britain, his class as a tank destroyer was never produced, only one was ever built, it was one prototype, and it failed because Britain decided to give up on the idea just because the new gun system didn't fit the turret. Instead of trying to just enlarge the turret or just try to make the turret work for the gun system, they literally just, like, gave up on the spot, so, uh, I don't know why they would just do that. For all they know, they could have been a good tank for the time for all they known. Because it was a pretty big gun mounted in this thing. But nope, they just gave up. It was designed in the ner in the early 1950s, as, uh, as I, if I remember correctly. I think it was designed in the early 1950s from the info I found. Weight, length, width, height, no info I could find on any of them, nor speed as well at the bottom right corner. I couldn't find any speed. It had a crew of five, or at least it would have. And its main armament would have been a 183mm L4 gun. So, yeah, that's the FV. I think it turned out good. So, uh, without really saying anything much more, let's get... Oh my goodness, did I do that? I completely forgot to do that. Wow, I forgot to remove the American flags and replace them with British. My mistake. I did not realize that. Well, whatever. But, uh, yeah, there you go. That's the FV, so without any further, without any further hold up, let's get right to the tutorial itself. Alright, so to start off, we're going to want to need some basic materials such as <clears throat> a stone brick slab, spruce wood stair, oak wood log, stone button, spruce wood slab, stone slab. Now we just give a quick count real quick, it's a space of five, and so that's one, two, three, four, five, right there. We're going to place down two bottom slabs of stone brick, skip space, skip space of three over to the right, place down two more. In front of that, go up a slab and do two uh, top slabs of stone brick in front right here, and that will kind of make that's going to be where the front of the tank is. So make sure you've already made up your mind where you want it to be. And then we're going to take our spruce wood stairs, we're going to put two right here with the rear facing the rear of the tank. Then we're going to reverse it and do them like this, up uh, like that. And then we're going to take our oak wood logs, we're going to uh, do two sideways facing logs like this. So we're going to do the next set of wheels, and then we're going to do the spruce wood stairs yet again as our wheels, like that. We're going to take our logs again, we're going to do them as wheels again, we're going to do our stairs for the final time, like this, and then we're going to do the logs for the final time on the bottom row here. And there you go, now once you reach the rear here, you're going to do two bottom slabs of stone brick, like at the front, and then two top slabs behind it on either side like that and there you go you essentially have that part done now we're just going to take our spruce wood slab we're going to do three top slabs of spruce wood right here in between these two wheels and if i can figure it out real quick all right so we're going to need sandstone slab actually for this part and the sandstone slab has to go right here three top slabs of stone, uh, sandstone right here in between the front uh, wheel like that and then just gonna fill up the hole inside of it with stone slabs but in reality it doesn't exactly matter what you put there I just do that just because it works and that we always did that but it really doesn't matter what you put uh, as the slab because it's not really exposed anyway now we're gonna take our stone buttons and we're gonna put a, a button on the outside of each one of these wheels on either side of the tank like that um, now that we've done that I think, honestly, we may be done with this layer. Um, yes, we are. Alright, so now that we're done with layer one, take a little bit of a look, make sure 
that where the row of sandstone is, that's the front of the tank, so just to make sure you have everything the way it should be. And now let's move on to layer two. So moving on to layer two, we're going to grab our um we're gonna grab our sandstone stairs, just like this. I'm going to put two here on the front on the top of the tracks there. Of course I have to have interruptions while I'm recording. Anyone moving on, we're going to take our oak wood logs. We're going to do two oak wood logs here sideways as the front and drive wheels, just like that. Um then what we're going to do is we're going to take our sandstone stairs yet again. We're going to do a row of three in between the logs on the front of the tank, just like that. Uh Huh. All right, let me just get an idea of what I gotta do. All right, now here's stone bricks, uh, stone brick tile slabs. I'm gonna run them all the way back on the top, all the way till about right above the last wheel at the rear, like that. And we're gonna do it on the left side of the tank as well. If I sound a little bit weird, which I probably don't to you, but I can't really tell. Well. Because I have a little bit of a cold and I'm still trying to recover from it, so uh, yeah, it's been having a bit of a bad cold going around over where I live, so yeah. So once you've done that, you add the rear drive wheels here, right behind the tracks, and then once you've done that, we're just going to, I guess we'll just come over here, grab some stone brick stairs, and put two at the rear like this on either side to finish off the tracks. Now for the fun part, we're going to grab our wooden trap doors and our signs. Now starting from the rear going to the front, we're going to do two blank signs and then wooden trap doors all the way up to the front drive wheel and then close all those trap doors. Then we're going to put a blank sign on the drive wheel itself on the front of the tank. Repeat that to the other side all the way back till just these two. Two blank signs. Close all of these. And now we can just grab our stone button, put a stone button there, and a stone button here. We can get a look at the tank. Alright, you know, I'm just going to walk in here and get the idea. Alright, so I'm going to need smooth sandstone, spruce wood stairs. Alright, so we're going to walk over here yet again, or fly, whatever. We're going to take our sand smooth sandstone blocks, do a row of three here. Do an upside down sideways stair here and here, just like that, so you have a little bit of a shape like that. We're going to take our wooden trap doors and on the rear of the tracks, we're going to do two on either side, flip them up. Come back over here, we're going to grab our spruce fence gates. Wait, did I do this right? I did not. Okay, never mind. Alright, we actually want to move the stairs uh, up back a block as well as with the uh, smooth sandstone, which I already just lost. Do the row three here, put a placeholder here and here. Put a spruce fence gate on top of either of them, break right, those placeholders. We're gonna take our sandstone stairs, we're gonna put a sideways stair here, and a sideways stair here, and then one right in the center to curve it. Put a wooden trap door on either end of it, like this. And that'll kind of make the stabilization uh, lift for the tank. I'm going to put a sandstone stair right on top of that, followed by a uh, sandstone block or slab block, whatever. It just has to be a, uh, a sandstone block. Normal. And then we're going to put a... Actually, what am I doing? Yo, yo, yo. Okay, we actually want to back that up. I was getting a little carried away there. Brain isn't functioning well. Alright, so actually, don't do that. But we have to stick with this layer. So we're actually just going to fill up the hole inside of the tank with smooth sandstone, sandstone, chilled sandstone, sandstone, I honestly don't care. It just has to be a form of sandstone. You can make up the texture all you want. And once you fill that up, I think we can move on to the next layer. Just let me do a quick evaluation. Make sure everything's done. Yes, it, yes it is. So now that we're done with layer 2, let's move on to layer 3. So to move on to layer 3, we're going to grab some nether brick slab. We're going to put a slab here, three in the middle, and then one here. Wooden trap door there, wooden trap door there. Come over here, grab my oak wood slabs. I'm going to do a 2x2 two two square of bottom slabs here, 2x2 two two here. I'm going to come over here yet again, grab my cobblestone stairs. I'm going to do two like this, two like this. Curve it 
uh, curve them into each other right here toward the front. Going to need sandstone slab and sandstone stairs. So you're going to do a sandstone slab here, a stair right in front of that, and then another one right there. Um, I don't think that's how it should be. Uh, there we go. Alright, you have to mess with that a little bit. You don't want these to connect. So whatever you have to do, you have to keep it like this shape, but make sure that these don't connect with the sandstone. Just, I mean, I mean the colosome, excuse me. Just do your best to keep them from connecting. We're going to need our wooden trap doors. We're going to do a 2x2 two two square of uh, wooden trap doors here. Same on the other side. Right here. Going to grab our birch slabs. We're going to do two like this. Well, two like this, and then three like this. I think we do the same on the other side. Yes, repeat that. So, two and three. Going to take my I'm going to take a sandstone stair, a stair here, and a stair here. I think one here and one here, and a smooth sandstone in the center of either of them. And we can do a row of three sandstone blocks right in there. Doesn't matter what kind. And I guess we kind of fill this up with the sandstone slabs. Yeah, you can basically just do that. Um, then I'd say you can just fill up the whole inside of this part right here with sandstone blocks. Doesn't matter what kind, yet again. In front of this, we're going to do a row of three bottom slabs of sandstone, followed by a 2x6 rectangle of wooden trapdoors. Wooden trapdoors are very prominent in this build, so if you're doing this in survival, make sure you have a lot of these. I'd like to know who actually built any of these in survival. That'd be interesting to see people building these in survival, maybe living in the mess houses. Only a few of them could ever, ever actually work. I wonder how living in a Type 5 Heavy in survival mode would be like. Huh, that'd be something to wonder. Alright, so anyway, continuing on, we're going to take our sandstone stairs. We're going to put one right here with the back face in the front of the tank. We're going to put a oak wood bottom slab right there. And we're going to put a sandstone slab uh, opposite side of it, right here. We're going to take our spruce stairs. We're going to need spruce slabs, which I do not think we have on us at the moment. So then we'll just run over here and grab it anyway, just to kind of save us some time. Put the spruce wood stair right here, back to back with the other stair. And then come forward up on of spruce wood, right off of that. Then we're going to take our blank sign. Now here, pay attention to this. Just go down to the ground. Place a blank sign here. Place it just, place another one just on the side, either side of the blank sign like this. And then one like this. So you want it to be kind of a circular shape almost. Well, not really circular. But that's what the, that would be the gun rest. But it's uh, currently not deployed, as you can obviously tell. I also didn't really design it to do it anyway, to be like deployed or anything. So whatever but um uh, i think the last thing we have to do for this layer is just take our sandstone stair and put a stair right here like that and now we are done with layer three so now let's move on to layer four which would be quite an easy layer as it is so moving on to layer four we're just going to take our smooth sandstone and i'd say just kind of bring them back to about here bring them forward to the front of the gun uh like the turret rest so it should be like six blocks long, bring it all the way across, bring it all the way back. And we're just going to kind of make the whole thing solid right here because we'll dig it out later for the interior. <laughs> and we're just going to take our sandstone slab, and we're going to make a block out of it right on the back top of this uh, stair from the previous layer. We're going to come back, we're going to grab some ladders, put a ladder here and a ladder here. Oops, actually, ladder here and ladder ladder here and ladder here. Do that on the other side as well. We're going to take our wooden trapdoor right here, put a wooden trapdoor there and there with an upside down spruce wood stair right in the middle of that. And we are about done. I just want to break this block I believe. Yes. Grab our spruce wood, okay slab, whatever. 
I'm just gonna put a spruce wood block right there. It doesn't matter out of how you make it, just put one right there. And now that we're done with layer four, which I told you was gonna be easy, let's move on to layer five. Moving on to layer five, which is also quite easy. We're gonna put another block of spruce wood right there. Wrap the turret around like this. Actually, not here. Don't do it on these blocks. Gonna wrap it around here, fill this up right there. Take our sandstone stairs, put two there and two there to kind of angle the turret just a little bit more. Actually, we kind of want to curve them in like this. We're gonna take our wooden trap doors, put another one there and another one there with another spruce wood stair right on top of it. I actually didn't realize we didn't do this from the previous layer. Whatever, we'll, eh, it doesn't matter. It's better to do the gun all in one thing anyway. We're gonna take our spruce wood top slab, I mean our spruce wood, our sandstone top slabs. We're gonna come off the uh, front of the bottom part of the gun mantlet here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine all the way off the front of the gun, followed by starting from the end of the gun, working our way in, one, two, three, four wooden trap doors, followed by two spruce wood bottom slabs, followed by a wooden trap door, followed by a daylight sensor right here, close that, and followed by a final spruce wood slab right there, and that finishes up the gun for the FV, and now, um, now that we're essentially done with, actually no, I, I just missed this one little detail, you gotta put a blank sign right there. And now that we're done with layer 5, let's move on to our final layer of layer 6. So moving on to layer 6, we're going to, um, I'm just going to simply take some daylight sensors. I'm going to put three daylight sensors right here. I'm going to go into our inventory, grab some brown carpet, put three brown carpet right here. Going to take our sandstone stairs, put a stair here and here, curve it inward like that, and put three right in the middle. Uh, actually, made a mistake. Don't do it at the ends here, just leave it like that. But instead, put a bottom slab of sandstone on the ends like this, and then curve this uh, sandstone stairs in like this. We're going to take a smooth sandstone block, do a row of five right here, fill in this three space right here. Do a stair here and a stair here, followed by some smooth sandstone right in the middle of that. And we can finish off the ladders that we actually didn't carry on. We're going to finish up those ladders up like that. That will be like the spokes of the uh, side of the turret for people to climb up on. And now finally we're just going to take our iron bars. We're going to put a bar here and here and go up two more like that and that'll be the antennas for the tank itself and you are done with the FB 4005 stage 2 without the interior if you're not staying around for the interior thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you again next time please leave a comment if you have a tank you wish to see and I'll be sure to get to it at some point in the future but now let's begin with the uh, interior so to start with the interior I guess we'll head over to the first model and we'll break down the door um, okay so step one, break down the door, and let's say we're going to break forward into the turret a little bit, break into the sides here, don't want to do that spot right there. We're going to take our brown carpet, and we want to do two brown carpet right there. I'm going to take our chests, and we're going to do a, we're going to do a chest here, 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 and here. I guess we're going to break forward in the turret just a little bit more like this. We're going to take our stone, actually no, first of all, let's just take our nether brick stairs. We're going to do a stair here and here, here and here, that's all four seats for the crew members. We're going to take our, our stone slab, two top slabs here, two bottom slabs there, that'll make the breach of the gun, I think that's about it. Yes it is, that's all that the interior really consists of for the FB. And now it's a little bit of a disappointment, but you know, the whole purpose is for just me to give you give you guys these uh, tutorials and you build the tank and if you want, modify it in your own way. But again, just make sure that and any other person that does tutorials will tell you this. Don't take credit for the build. Just give credit where credit is due. You don't have to be afraid to admit that you didn't make the vehicle yourself even if you're trying to impress someone. 
because that's how I kind of began. I kind of began, you know, as like a little bit scared trying to admit when I'd build other YouTubers' vehicles that, you know, I'd be a little bit uh, scared to admit that I didn't build it myself. And it, it's a it's a it's a mutual feeling that people can get, but don't ever feel that kind of thing. Never be afraid to admit that you followed a tutorial because out of tutorials, when you follow them, you can start doing this kind of stuff yourself. Start picking up on the designs of vehicles, picking up on new ideas how to do them, and that's how I started out doing this because I got all my ideas from Garrett Two by Four or JWWT Four. Those guys really contributed to my upbringing in how to make tanks. So if it weren't for them, I probably would not be here, because all it takes is just learning from other people, uh, as if you're doing any other school class, as it is. That's really just what it is. You're just doing your own little homework. But enough of me going on about that. Thank you for watching, and hopefully I will see you again sometime soon. Please be sure to stay uh, tuned for any more vehicles that you wish to see. If you have any that you actually uh, would like to see personally, leave a comment. I'll be sure to get to them at some point in the future. Though I have a couple more vehicles I have to put out, like uh, two more requested vehicles, and then I'll be open for any more requests uh, from them from that point on. So just stay a little bit patient, and any of your vehicles that you'll request will be out and uh, ready to go. So, again, thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time. Dasvidaniya. Keep on tanking, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.